Aurelio Gomez is going to be a challenge, not because of the way he looks or anything, just because I haven't thought about him since 2009. Aurelio Gomez is the kind of guy who appears in a campaign leaflet for the Conservative Party due to his successful small business made possible through a government grant. Aurelio Gomez is the kind of guy who works for a vaguely religious community group. Ever since he was laid off from work, helping elderly people lift boxes has been a great confidence boost. He doesn't really care for the talk of God, mind you. He just likes the admin side of it all. Aurelio Gomez is the kind of guy who plays Jeff in a Brazilian remake of Peep Show. I like Mark. Aurelio Gomez is the kind of guy who tries to get into student club nights with his NVQ college ID. The bouncer states that it's really just for uni students, but lets Gomez in anyway as it's not worth the hassle. Aurelio Gomez is the kind of guy who, when dropping his child off at a soft play centre birthday party, he doesn't leave and stands for the duration against the back wall with his arms folded, as he's incredibly overprotective. Aurelio Gomez is the kind of guy who only has white home furnishings in his house. It's gotten so extreme that he's even tracked down a white Xbox with no intention at all of playing Sunset Overdrive. To be fair to him, it is just a shit jet set radio future. Aurelio Gomez is the kind of guy who, when he goes shopping with his girlfriend, he always ends up carrying a disproportionate amount of bags. I understand chivalry, but she can at least hold a few. It's her stuff. Aurelio Gomez is the kind of guy whose taxi is covered in trinkets from his home country in order to make airport runs more of an experience. Aurelio Gomez is the kind of guy who gets three quarters of the way through The Apprentice before getting fired for not being team leader enough. He really shines in the final episode, however, and both finalists want him on their team. Aurelio Gomez is the kind of guy who enjoys the low-budget late-night fare of movies for men. He doesn't remember the titles of individual films, though. They all sort of blur into one.